<laughs> my name is Ella and I'm the Plants Meow and welcome to my channel. So today is a video that I'm extremely, extremely excited about. If you've been following me on Instagram, I have posted these in my stories, but I've just been so completely excited about this particular unboxing. And here's a little box. There, <laughs> can you guess how many plants there are? Put it in the comments below. Um, Cause this is such a small box, you would think that not a lot would fit in here. So just kind of give yourself an educated guess and pause the video. You don't have to do this. I just thought it'd be kind of cute because a lot of international sellers ship plants so compactly. And it's actually pretty fascinating like how they can possibly fit these many in here. Like I don't really quite understand it myself. The seller in particular today is from Instagram, I was actually just kind of on my phone one night in my room and really bummed that there was this one kind of variegated anthurium that was just really expensive and I couldn't quite justify the price for one plant. So I was just kind of looking through tags and I came across, you know, the anthurium hybrid tag because if you don't know me, I'm quite obsessed with anthuriums and I have a very special appreciation for anthurium hybrids mostly because in nature if hybridization is allowed to happen to me like that is so fascinating and I feel like the hybridizations that do occur are kind of like this meant to be kind of thing because they obviously are genetically compatible and I think that's really fascinating and I love how they can look so different and I'm always curious what traits are taken from what parents and these particular hybrids are completely unknown hybrids. The seller's Instagram handle is called Loxa Plant Seller. Hopefully I didn't just say the wrong handle. I think that's what it is. This particular seller, if you look at their Instagram over here, they just post pictures like other international sellers do of particular plants. And how this normally goes is that you message the seller that you're interested and what is the price of this particular plant. Now these plants, they range from $100 up to $150. So they could be any of those, but these are specifically Ethereum hybrids. I don't know what anything else is priced at on there. You would just have to ask the seller. And remember when you do ask a seller a price, you're under no obligation to purchase that plant. So it doesn't hurt to ask. So shipping for the seller is actually $85 with Phyto certification. She requires that you purchase a minimum of four plants and in the box itself, it can contain 12 plants. My particular box, I'm gonna spoil it now, there's eight plants in here. So as soon as I kind of found the seller and saw these hybrids that I really wanted, I kind of like went around my house and just kind of picked out plants I didn't entirely love. And it was basically my rationale behind that is, I need growing room in order to keep my house tasteful. Like I don't want to be fully crowded with plants. I have a lot of plants. Yes, I'm now over at a hundred and I'm okay with that, but <laughs> I still want it to be ones that I'm just surrounded with that I do really love. And there's just some plants where I'm always like, eh, do I want you? Do I not? So what I'm doing right now is I'm pulling some plants and I'm putting them in my indoor greenhouse. And come springtime, I will be selling those off. So you can kind of keep a lookout if there's anything in the greenhouse that you are interested in when I do my house plant tour. I actually will be getting more plants to actually sell as well. Not a ton, but I've recently kind of gained some contacts where I can access some plants so I can sell to people. And I'm not gonna be pricing these plants crazy. I'm gonna be pricing them what they're kind of worth on the market and maybe a little less. I am so excited about these. And if you're wondering, okay, why are these hybrids unknown? It's, <laughs> it's because this particular seller, she basically just gets seeds of anthuriums and she has no idea just what they are. And honestly, I was completely fine with that. I've accepted unknown ID kind of fate here. Usually I love to kind of figure out what my plan is. I love hybrids so much that I've accepted that I'm not gonna know for these plants. I may suspect, but how will I truly know? I really won't. And hybrids don't just have to be hybridized with one other, you know, it doesn't have to be just two hybrids. You may have a hybrid that's hybridized with another plant or another hybrid. So it's just kind of really difficult to tell. So if you ever get an unknown hybrid and you ask for identification, 
<laughs> it might not be such an easily accessible thing for you. All right, so let's get into this unboxing. The only thing is when these boxes are so taped up, it's really difficult to tell where you should be starting. You kind of just got to feel around, especially because it's shipped so compactly. You never want to just cut into anywhere because you may be cutting directly into a plant. They are shipped in bags. That is not my favorite technique. And they are not wrapped in sphagnum. Their roots are just kind of left out. They look okay. But I guess we'll see as I open these up. And I do want to let you know I have pre-named these hybrids just for identification purposes on my part. So <laughs> if you hear me calling them by certain names, that's why. It's not official or anything. Ooh, I just cut into the root bag. I kind of just want to show you really quick what this looks like. So it's just a bag of plants. So it gives me Air Raid Show vibes because they typically package them in a way that's like this. <laughs> right away, I want to say the roots do look good. So that's pretty awesome. And these were shipped on Friday and it is now Monday. So shipping was pretty quickly and it was through DHL Express. Anytime you have a seller internationally shipping through DHL Express, you can pretty much always guarantee your plants are gonna arrive to you in pretty good condition because it ships so quickly. And I absolutely love that service. I'm actually very hesitant to buy from sellers who don't use this particular service. start grabbing plants it's weird to me never had them shipped like this so right away um, these are <laughs> even though they were shipped in this particular way this is probably about the healthiest looking international plant I have received in that like there's definitely no pests um, it is common through import for just scale to be on plants. Not all the time, it just every so often, but I don't see anything on these. These look very clean, so I'm pretty happy about that. So this particular hybrid, I have actually named Rowena, <laughs> and I'll put her name down below, and I'll also kind of just throw in a picture probably right here <laughs> of what the picture looked like. And so you can tell this is definitely the plant I was expecting. That's pretty cool. What I really liked about this particular hybrid is this gap here in the sinus. I really like that. So it's very wide, it has that gap. It's very cute. Um, it does have a velvety sheen to it. So with some of these, I wasn't certain if they were velvety or not but this one does look to belong to that family. So that's pretty awesome. It's a, it's funny cause like in the light, it just looks so green, like light green, but it's actually just a darker green in person. Very, very cute. Love this one. Oh gosh, I've been so, so excited about these hybrids. I cannot wait. <laughs> oh gosh. So this is like a delicate process. So this particular plant, she did say had a name. And this one was actually supposed to be an Ace of Spades and Magnificum hybrid, which was strange to me initially because 
It's so round. I love its roundness, so I don't even care if it isn't that particular hybrid because <laughs> it's so freaking cute. And I'm gonna, when I show you the picture, you're gonna notice this leaf and it looks a bit pink in person too, but it was definitely one that it grows in with much pinker veins. It's just really cute. And it looks like a more mature leaf. So the petioles themselves, they appear round. So I don't see a lot of the Magnificum in this plant, but it is different than my Doriakis that are round because my Doriakis don't contain any semblance of pink. And this new leaf, not on the adult leaves, but the new leaf here is pink all the way around on the edges and on the sinus right here. It's very, very cute. Absolutely love this. This is the photo that she sent me that actually is the one that I referenced to get this plant. So <laughs> basically what happened, I was interested in hybrids and I let her know this. And so besides the ones that I was sending her off her Instagram posts, this is one that she actually sent me. And <laughs> even though this one already does have a hybrid kind of classification. I have named it anyway, just to kind of go with my theme here. And this one I have named Circe. The pink kind of just made me feel Circe. I don't know why, but I really, really love this roundness. And if you look here at the petioles, they have a pinkness. They have a pinkness to them too. They're just really cute. I absolutely love that. Yeah. There's one in here that like, I mean, I'm excited about all these, but there's one in here that I really can't wait to get to and I don't know when it's gonna come up here. Oh, this one's so much bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Gosh, I love little baby anthurium leaves. The only thing is they usually don't survive shipping <laughs> in my experience. So hopefully this one does. So this very lovely guy I have named Lux. <laughs> So I picked this one because it has this rippling going through the leaves. It's just really, really pretty. Absolutely love this one. Just look at this. And a lot of our plants in the U.S. can go really expensive. So a lot of you are probably thinking, wow, $100 for an anthurium is a lot. But I'm telling you right now, just check out eBay and check out like hybrids that are being sold. They go for hundreds upon hundreds of dollars. So just finding these that were really cool and unique to me, like, I don't know like what plant this is, it's not identified. And I think that's really cool and really unique. And the fact that I paid a hundred bucks for it, <laughs> I'm not too bitter about. I'm sure like I don't wanna be spending this, but like I said, I do plan to recoup losses. I have already been doing that for plants before it got cold. I have sold some plants, but it's like, when you see this, it's just worth it. And like, I really haven't had an anthurium that I'm like, oh wow, like I don't really like this plant. I just haven't had that happen. I just think they're all absolutely stunning. And I love this little leaf here. Like, I, <laughs> I really hope this little guy makes it. So velvety. Like, uh, like, it even has like a blue little hue to it. Like, that's really cute. So I just looked in my sink where I'm placing all these right now. And I was like, oh my God, they're all so cool. <laughs> like, oh God, like, they're really awesome. I'm really happy I got these plants. They're all super healthy. I'm so excited. All right, who do I got next? Because all of these have been great. I'm so happy with all of them. Man, the one I was like super excited about is gonna be like the last one I pick. Although as I go through them all, I'm getting very excited about each one. Okay, so this next one is very large. Um, <laughs> I'm actually really impressed with the size. So I've actually named this one Morgan and I feel like I appropriately named her. She definitely feels like she suits it. She has an interesting texture to her leaves. Initially, the shape was very pappy but there's not much pink even in the area of new growth. So 
And it feels different. It's almost like a leathery feel. Like, definitely leathery. Like, this one would be very difficult, personally, to identify if any of them would ever be. Like, it definitely has that beautiful sheen to it. Like, that color. Oh my god. But, um, texture-wise, it's not velvety, but it kind of give off, gives off velvety vibes. It's really pretty. I really like this one though. Like they're all absolutely stunning. Like, oh my God. <laughs> I'm really impressed. They look so good. Like I'm surprised. It's always a risk to buy internationally, especially when you know nothing about the seller. And I did not. So this is very risky for me personally. Like I've never dealt with her before. I had no idea like how this actually went about. So very pleased with these plants. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna move this one to the side because there's a plant that I wanna get to. Although this one's so cool too. I'm almost tempted to get this one out. Woo! So this Roughly guy, you can tell he has so many like ridges. I've actually named this one Amorettes, and this one does look different from the photo. So, this is the first one that I saw that I really wanted, so I was very excited about this one. And the reason it looks different is because it is less dark in person, it is more ripply in person, which I don't mind at all. I like the ripples, but um. It does have like pink on the back too, which is really neat. Like the veins, it's really cute. So take a look at that. It's not like a thick velvety nest though. It's very like fragile, very, very fragile looking. I love these ripples. It's so unique. I have no idea like what would create like just ripples like these. Definitely very cool looking. Just <laughs> absolutely adorable. <laughs> so far it'd be like really hard to pick a favorite because all of these have been really neat for different reasons, which is why I wanted them because they're all so unique to me. Okay. Ah, oh, yes. The super cool thing. Look at this. <laughs> Quickly over here, I'm gonna put in an image. This is what I have named Stormy. And it's so freaking cute, guys. Like, I'm so happy with it. Like, look at this little wispy right here. Like, they've all got some like major wispy action. <laughs> and the back, like, it's so pink hued, like all of the leaves. So I feel like that tells me they're all gonna stay this pink vein color on the back. Cause it looks like the new leaves and the older leaves have that. And if you look up top too, it has pink right in there. So cute. Oh my God. I'm so excited. And then none of these roots have rotted. They all look amazing. But oh my gosh, look how it, adorable this is this velvety goodness and like compared to the last plant like you can definitely feel like how thick this one is in comparison i like that it doesn't have overlapping sinuses either there's something about the little gap that they have that is just really cute just very regale of them so rowena and stormy definitely have that going for them i'm sure there's probably another one that did too but i just this one's so freaking cute though. Like, <laughs> I'm super stoked. That's so pretty. This one, oh my God. Sorry, I'm like geeking out really hard. Just why are you so cute? Like that's just absolutely adorable and stunning. <laughs> and here's this guy. Oh, he had a new leaf. He's 
So this beautiful creature I have named Ambrose. <laughs> so that was actually inspired from the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina by her cousin. Also, if you haven't read the comic book, I highly recommend. The art is absolutely beautiful. At first, like, I didn't think this one had any like velvetiness to them, but the color is so deep. It's not velvety. It is like a gloss, but like some of these give me pause because they feel weird. <laughs> it's hard to identify like where exactly they belong. So I like this one because of its lobes here. I love that they're just so spread out that it's so like open on top right here where the sinus is and it's so elongated. I just thought that was really cute. Just a really adorable guy and all so very healthy. <laughs> I know I keep saying that, but it can be like crazy how unlike healthy they can be. Like the roots look good, the leaves look good. Like there's absolutely just nothing wrong with these, which is surprising. Usually there's always like a little bit of something, like a oh, one root is rotted. Not a big deal, but still <laughs> something. But this time there's just nothing. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh this thing is so cute so <laughs> this little one to me it looks like some kind of crystallinum hybrid because there's just so much silver it's so round too like it's absolutely adorable it's like a little teacup wow like she's super sweet and like very tiny. So it's even more adorable, like just adore this one. So this one I've actually nicknamed Solstice. <laughs> like she's aptly named, she's just really pretty. She kind of just had so much silver. It just kind of, I felt like I had to do something related to the moon or <laughs> something like that. It kind of almost reminds me of a rounder crystalline magnificum or a crystalline doriaki, but still with more silver. So that is different. Also what's a little different is though it's round here, it wisps out here. So it doesn't seem to be either of those. Really stinking cute. What? Why are you so adorable? <laughs> I absolutely love it. So I just wanna say I <laughs> and thoroughly, thoroughly surprised at these plants. One, I was worried because it was a seller I've never used, so that was a high concern to me. And basically, I was just thinking, are they even gonna get here? I don't know how they do things. I didn't even know initially they shipped DHL Express, so I was just like very antsy about this. And honestly, it was great. So how the payment worked is we used Western Union. So you just set up an account there and then you just transfer money over. And um, again, that shipping was $85, but you can fit up to 12 plants, but remember that minimum of four. If anything, you witnessed me get some really cool and interesting hybrids and I'm excited to watch them grow and I'm excited to show you how they grow. So I hope that you just watch future houseplant tours just to kind of check up on their status because I am so excited <laughs> to see how they're gonna grow, like beyond, beyond belief. I was so excited to get these and I know I've said excited so many times in this video, but honestly, my expectations are beyond fulfilled. I was just like, I to me, even though they were shipped DHL, I was still worried. I didn't know, you know, is, was I gonna lose leaves? Were they gonna come with pests? Like, were they gonna have root rot? Like, I just didn't know. And so even though they were just shipped in a bag, roots and the roots not wrapped with anything, I was pleasantly surprised that they were all in fantastic shape. And sometimes when they're shipped in sphagnum, sometimes they still have a little bit of rot. So while this was risky, I'm assuming just because it was shipped so quickly, it wasn't in here for, that many days that it was completely okay. And actually this looks great. <laughs> and I don't like recommending bags, but that worked so well. There was just absolutely nothing wrong with them. And that's surprising. These are really fascinating plants. I'm so intrigued in their different features. And I can't wait to kind of just like 
sit there and study them more. They're very aesthetically pleasing to me and I'm very excited for my new leaves. Right now my anthuriums are producing a lot of new leaves and I'm really excited about all of that and I can't wait for more of that. <laughs> so, uh, gosh. But yeah, I think these, because they are so different that a new leaf for them is just gonna look so crazy. And I just wonder what the colors will be, what kind of attributes they're gonna have as new growth and what they're gonna kind of develop into. So just kind of the, the studying aspect of it and just kind of documenting that, I think that's gonna be really fun. <laughs> and I'm really excited for it. Even though that sounds super nerdy, I'm so excited. And I hope all of these acclimate fairly well. I just can't believe that my order and my wish for these plants fulfill my expectations. I'm so excited. They're so unique. I feel so lucky and so blessed. And I don't know why I'm super happy right now. I think it's just because I've been happy to get these. I'm happy they're here now. I'm happy they ship fast. I'm happy because of holidays. I didn't think I would be in the holiday spirit this year because of events that have happened in terms of a loss. But honestly, I think holidays are what I needed because I am feeling a lot better right now. And I don't know if it's just because my tree's up and it kind of gives me kind of these feelings because I didn't even think I'd be able to put it up this year because of how I was feeling. And honestly, it feels so good right now. And I want to I want to thank you all so much for watching my videos. It has meant the world to me. Like I personally don't think I'm that interesting of a person and I'm really, really humbled and lucky that I have you all here watching my videos. I love that this plant community just wants to share their collections with everyone. I love sharing mine. I love talking about mine. If you actually see, like know me in person and my boyfriend can agree, it drives him bonkers how much I talk about plants. <laughs> I don't know, I just find them really fascinating and really exciting. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you did enjoy it. I really enjoyed opening these plants and recording kind of my first reactions to them and sharing that with you. And I'm so excited to get these guys just potted up and in their spots and just kind of stare at them a lot. <laughs> if you did like this video, please give it a like. Please comment any feedback down below. But if you want to see more content, please subscribe. I do put out a video every Wednesday. That was super enthusiastic, but I'm feeling enthusiastic. <laughs> Make sure to hit that bell icon if you want to be notified. And if you don't, that's okay. I'm not going to blame you if you don't want to see my video <laughs> notification. I don't do that for everyone either. <laughs> I hope you like it. I enjoyed this. I enjoy you. Thank you so much for watching.